What is up guys? My name is Kevin Jones and this is my first ever in the bag. I am newly sponsored by Prodigy Disc and I'm super pumped to show you guys everything that I'm throwing this year, all right? So, first off, I just wanna start with my putters, my putting putters. I've got three of them in the bag right now. Uh, I've got two kind of seasoned ones. So putters for me, uh, I like them almost brand new, but maybe like 10 rounds old, not exactly brand new. So I've got these ones that are definitely a few tournaments old. They're the 350G Spectrum Plastic, Paul Ulibarri's, uh core team of last year. And they're just a really good feeling putter. They're super stiff, which is what I like in a putter. And they also, have this nice little tackiness you could say to them not super tacky but uh they have a tackiness to them good grip in all conditions these are my putting putters i carry three of them right now now i've got my throwing putters all right uh, i'm carrying two pa3s right now for throwing putters these are both in 300 plastic so they have a nice tackiness to them good uh softness what they do and the reason i throw them is because they sit down really quick on grass or any, pretty much any kind of surface they're going to sit down faster than a slicker disc would uh, this is my seasoned one right here it's got the star stamp on it seppo paiu's old disc He's hooked me up with so many discs. I got it. I'm probably going to give him five more shout outs in this whole video. But this is my flippy one right here. When I throw this real straight and on a flat angle, it's going to ride to the right for a long time. If I throw it on hyzer, I can get it to flip up and fly straight for a while also. Uh, I also carry an overstable one. This is just simply a new one. This is the Chris Dickerson uh, signature stamp this year. Uh, it's a 300 PA3. It's really overstable right now, so I can throw it full power, and I know it's going to have that consistent left finish to it. Uh, and I can throw it in the wind, pretty much all kinds. But I'm throwing these PA3s for really straight shots that I need to sit down quickly. I love to use my 400 G PA2 for super straight shots. I'm talking dead straight shots with no left finish, no right finish at all. It's just going to, I'm going to throw it real flat and it's going to hold the angle the entire time. This disc is awesome. I can trust it in a small amount of headwind, but especially if it's a tailwind, I can just throw it on the angle and on the line that I want and it's going to go for a good 350 feet probably. Let's move on to mid ranges. The first, we're going to go flippy to overstable. My first mid in the bag is a 400G M4. The 400G M4 is a perfect disc for me now that we're getting into the woods. This disc is perfect for me that if I throw it on a hyzer, I will continuously get it to slowly flip up and finish maybe a little bit right. Or possibly if I hit the angle correctly, I can just get it to ride dead straight for a long time. This disc is super trusty and it's gonna be used on all these wooded courses coming up in the future. I'm carrying two M3s currently. I've got a double stamp, Kevin Jones Signature 750 Spectrum M3. This disc is sweet. It's got a little bit more stability than my other M3 in the bag, which is a team stamp. Uh, I believe this is 400G plastic. It just has a really good feel to it. It's a flatter top, but this thing has a slow continuous turn to it, but it really flies straight for a long time. If I want something with a little bit more finish to it, but more over stability, I'll grab the Kevin Jones M3 and this will have that straight to left finish on it. So I love these discs. They're really consistent and also gonna be very helpful in the woods. My last mid-range you could say is a prodigy proto this is a color fader m2 slash three it's a pre, like a, a proto m2 pretty much and this thing used to be hot pink but not anymore it's seen too much of the sunlight and it's now this color faded uh white faded peach color uh, this thing is so consistent i'm loving this disc right now uh, last year i was throwing the midari for really fast uh, overstable mid shots. Now I'm throwing the Prodigy Proto M2 or any regular M2 also is going to hold pretty much the same line uh, that I'm looking for. Something really straight but oh it's got extreme amount of overstability to it. I can throw it in any wind and trust this disc a lot. Uh, moving on to my last so-called mid ranges. 
These discs are awesome. They are mids, they're overstable mids. I've got two A2s. I've got one A2 in the 400 plastic, uh, that, but it's a, more of an opaque feel to it. And then I've also got a 400 A2 um, in pr pretty much a newer run, I believe. This is more translucent. Uh, this 400 right here is my flippy one. So if I want an A2 shot, which is a super overstable, any kind of wind scenario at all, I might carry this disc right here, I might throw it. It has more glide than a normal A2 does, absolutely, but it's never gonna flip up and go right on me. This disc, if I hit it on a flat angle, it's gonna go straight for a good while and then hook up hard to the left, probably have some skip on it too. Uh, if I'm facing a little bit more of a headwind maybe, I'll pull out the translucent one. It's just got more overstability and I'm able to trust it a little bit more. All right. So now, let's move on to my fairway drivers. Uh, as far as flippy fairway drivers are concerned, I've got this 400G F5, another disc given to me by Seppo Paiu. Thank you, Seppo. Uh, this disc is awesome. The F5 is a super unique disc, like most of our fairway drivers, actually. Um, this disc has a really good amount of turn to it so anybody that's looking for like a glidey fairway driver but also a consistent disc would love an f5 this thing is super fun to use and it's going to come in handy on these wooded courses absolutely for the slow turning to the right shots that i need some good speed and distance on now for a straighter fairway driver i might pull out the h3 v2 the most understable H3V2 I'm carrying is this 750 Spectrum Will Schustrick Core Team uh, H3V2. Um, this is for dead straight fairway shots for me that I want to have maybe a little bit of hold to the right, but that's about it. Honestly, these are this is a really straight disc, and uh, it just has a tiny bit of fade to the right for me, so I can get it to turn over and fly a little bit understable for me. Uh, if I need some more stability, I'll easily step up to my newer... 400 plastic H3V2. This one has a sweet feel to it. It's not gummy at all. It's just a super firm but a grippy feel on it. Um, I throw this shot for dead straight fairway drives that I need consistent fade on or something that I need to trust. I can hammer this in the woods or I can hammer it in an open field. It doesn't matter. It just goes really straight and has a good finish to the left on it. Um, if I need a little bit more skip on my finish, then I'll grab this OG H3. So this is definitely more overstable than the H3 V2 in my opinion. And I can use this if I want an H3 V2 shot with some skip maybe. Uh, another way I might use this disc is for some sidearms if I'm trying to get just a slow fading shot to the right, just kind of slowly bend a shot into the right. This disc has tons of glide, but also tons of stability to hold up to my sidearm. Uh, next in the fairway driver selection, we've got two H1V2s right here. This is a more overstable one, this one right here. It's just 400 plastic, it's translucent, but this run came a little bit flatter. I like this run right here. It has a good overstable finish to it, so I can really trust this in any kind of wind, but also if I need something with a good amount of glide and uh, um, fade to the left, I can absolutely trust the H1 V2 to do that for me. I use both of these discs usually for hammering a really flat shot. I like to throw both of these discs really flat. Uh, the only difference is this first run H1 V2 um, will hold straighter for much longer than my newer H1 V2. This one is a flat top and it's just got some mean overstability to it and it's super trusty. I usually stay away from throwing these sidearm very much. If I want some overstability on top of the H1V2, we go to the OG 400G H1. This disc is a super flat top. Um, it's one of the more popular discs in the lineup from past years. Some of these have came out just super sweet. Uh, I like this one a lot. It's actually only 169 grams, but uh, it holds all the stability in it. It's extremely overstable and I can trust it. Uh, with everything I got. I throw this actually for all overhead shots. Uh, if I'm throwing a thumber or something over some trees, I'll pull this disc out and throw it. Uh, I also throw it for really trusty backhand hyzers, spike hyzers and stuff like that. Now, we're moving on to my favorite part, 
the distance drivers. I've never felt more comfortable with my distance drivers than when I started throwing all these Prodigy discs. Um, Dutch Napier actually, and Seppo, and Kale, and Will have all hooked me up with the best runs that I could ever ask for. And I'm about to show you all. It's gonna be awesome. Let's start with the 400G D2. This is a season D2 right here. I use this disc for my maximum distance shots. If I want to throw it flat, I will get this disc to ride right for me for a long time, but always have a consistent hookup to the left. Uh, I also use this disc for really, really long sidearms. This disc has a, an incredible amount of glide for me. So if I'm not thrown into a headwind or any kind of dangerous wind, funky wind, I will absolutely pull this out if I want a max distance sidearm. Uh, I can really throw it on an angle and I can get it to hold the angle that I want for a long time. So if I need something skipping far to the right, this would be the disc for me because it has so much glide to it. All right, next up in the distance drivers, we've got easily my favorite disc in my bag. This is simply a newer 400G D2. It has the perfect shape to me. Uh, this disc is another disc given to me by Seppo Pai. Thank you so much, man. Um, I can't explain this disc enough. It has an incredible amount of glide, but also an incredible amount of overstability. So I can trust this disc with everything. Any kind of distance shot in the world, any hyzer flip to long flying distance shot, I'm gonna be throwing this disc right here. You'll see it probably all over tour this year, um, unless I lose it in the water, which happens all the time with how much we put, practice and play in the water. But uh, this disc is really amazing. Uh, it's my best distance driver in my bag, hands down, um, just because of how far it goes, but also the consistency. If I wanna throw this sidearm, I'm throwing it for something that I want to go as far as I can, but also needing to have some accuracy to it as well. It has a good amount of glide and I can get it to consistently go really far with a good fade on it. So this is a great disc. All right, guys, next in line is going to be my D1s, actually. Uh, it's funny, though, because this D1 right here is right in the middle of those D2s. This one was given to me by my buddy Keith from Kentucky. Uh, it's a really, really good consistent disc. It's a 400G D1. It's max weight, and I trust this thing to just actually do my really straight, consistent distance drives. So if there's maybe OB lining the fairway, uh, any kind of funky wind at all, I'm gonna pull this out because I know that I can hammer it flat and it's not, it doesn't have much fade or a turn to me at all. It just goes really straight and it's super consistent in the wind. So this is a very trusty disc and it goes right in between those two D2s, honestly. Uh, I got one more D1 in the bag. This one was given to me by Dutch. This is an old 400S. D1, 400S just means the exact same thing as 400, it's the 400 series. Um, this is a flat top D1, I can trust this thing in any kind of wind at all. I use it for tons of sidearms because I just love to smooth it on a flat angle and just let it fly. It goes straight for a good time but hooks up in any wind um, that I could ever imagine. So I'm really trusting this disc a lot. I throw it for backhand hyzers that I don't wanna have much turn at all, that I just wanna go dead straight for a long time and then finish left. Uh, it doesn't fly the furthest uh, of my distance drivers, but it is extremely consistent and I use it for sidearm and backhand all the time. You see this disc on tour for sure. I got two more discs in my bag and if you have kept up with Prodigy, you probably know what they are because um, it's the only disc I haven't really mentioned yet that you'd be surprised about. Uh, the 750X1, I've got two of them. Uh, this one was given to me by my buddy Charlie Cavalier. It is a really, really beat up X1. Um, so it actually flies more like that green D1. The only thing is I trust this in a little bit more wind. So if I want to use this for like a really consistent uh, distance drive with not much turn and just a consistent fade on it, this is the disc for me. Uh, it's super trustworthy. I can throw it pretty much anywhere. Uh, the only thing is I don't usually try to sidearm it. I usually leave the sidearms to that green D1. This disc is awesome though. Um, unbelievably consistent. And the last disc that I have is the newer version of the X1. If, they're, if I'm facing a 40 mile per hour headwind, 20 mile per hour headwind for that matter, and I'm just trying to get it in the fairway, whether it's 300 feet or 400 feet, this is the disc for me. It has no turn for me at all. It simply just goes 
dead straight with a super hard overstability hyzer at the end that never fails, never messes up. Um, this disc literally goes where you throw it. Uh, and it's pretty much a, an extremely unique disc. There's nobody that really makes a disc like this. So I'm super happy to be throwing the X1 in my bag and all my other Prodigy discs. I couldn't be more uh, stoked about this whole year. I've got a sweet lineup thanks to the awesome team of Prodigy giving me the best disc that I could ask for. Uh, I would like to thank my sponsors, Prodigy Disc, The Next Gen Tour, Cedar Creek Disc Golf Course, and Legit Disc Golf out of Waco. Uh, they are all a huge reason of why I can do what I do. And I would love to thank the Jomez boys for getting me on camera and letting me show the world what's in my bag. So thank you guys.